in this image. Here we also see the varying layers of curved electric potential in the ring systems of the inert gases, which give form to the spheres. These spheres pulse through each other, creating light lenses. The cathode dominant condition of the sphere is seen on the left, and the anode dominant condition is seen on the right as they interchange, each becoming the other. Spherical bodies are formed by the intersections of the inert gas rings on the three interior cathode planes of each cubic wave field. This diagram reveals the open holes or cathode condition of the rings which give form to the spheres. The spheres are created by the three mutually orthogonal sets of inert gas rings which bound the three interior planes of the cube. These waveforms are being repeated in the neighboring wave fields along with their anode counterparts and receiving similar waveforms from the neighboring wave fields, corners and faces at the same time. The complexity of all the various ring systems produced by the varying potential of the inert gas rings which form spheres causes the curvature of light lenses which both compress and expand the electric waveforms into a myriad of possible shapes controlled by magnetic geometries for every imaginable physical shape in our universe. The cone bases and apices of the cathode and anode waves of the cube are seen here on the primary vertical plane of the cube. They create spheres when all inert gas rings meet on all three cathode planes of magnetic stillness. The waves produce a cathode-anode sphere where the spherical cathode and anode waves are pulsing through each other via rhythmic balanced interchange. This is a two-dimensional representation of how anodes and cathodes pulse back and forth between each other via rhythmic balanced interchange, each becoming the other, giving their electric light to each other so they may give again perpetually. This animation is a fusion of the last one where we see the anode and cathode interchanging through each other. Walter Russell created this magnificent painting to describe the fusion of cathode and anode inert gas ring and sphere systems. The anode is showcased and highlighted in red to exhibit how the spherical centers of immense heat are generated by the interchanging of the cathode and anode waves. The opposite of the fusion image Russell painted would be a fission image like this with a hole in the center for cathode female preponderance. The anode condition of the inert gas rings would be superimposed over these rings with male and female color spectrums in the inverse of the previous image called fusion. Atomic structures are seen to display the cocentric spheres created by the inert gas rings. These atoms look nothing like the Rutherford Bohr nuclear atom of academic indoctrination, nor the even more fallacious version offered by the dysfunctional quantum theory. The complexity of the light lenses is seen here, where there are lenses within lenses created by the rings of the inert gases, which are dividing the sexless still magnetic light into sexed pairs of male and female spiraling electric vortices of the bipolar electric universe. Atomic centers are formed at the wave field boundaries of neighboring wave fields, where the cathode waves which are reaching out from the interior cathode planes of one cube meet to form anode centers of cubes which interpenetrate each other. The inert gas ring systems that compose the inner three cathode planes of each cube and create spherical systems are seen here in the image on the left. They are shown on the right sharing an anode cathode center at the mutual wave field boundary of two cubes. This creates a third atomic center between the two cubes 
which interpenetrates the other two cubes. This means that atomic systems are not separate, standalone entities, as shown in academia. Rather, they exist in and through each other, sharing their cathode planes and cube corners as anode-cathode meeting points, which center atomic systems. The interchange of the cathode vortex waves which reach out from cube bases creates the static electric motions of the cubes as direct reflections of the cubes cathode planes. The dynamic motions of the spiraling electric light forms are seen here where the motions are transferred into neighboring wave fields via the corners of the cubes and create atomic centers there as well. The eight corners of each cube act as trihedral corner reflectors to bend spiraling cathode wave lights inward towards apices, which are the centers of other anode cathode centers as seen in the vertical purple bullseye face in this image. This bullseye represents a time-stopped fusion of both cathode and anode conditions of the inert gas rings as they appear together on the cathode plane pulsing between each condition. The other three horizontal bullseyes are inert gas rings in their cathode condition with no anode centers shown for comparison. Note also, the octagon in the cube to the far right is another of the countless unseen still magnetic geometries which exist between the magnetic cube and electric sphere. Eight trihedral corner reflectors are also to be found at the center of each cube. The three inner planes of the cube create eight corner reflectors which are the magnetic control for eight electric vortices as they thrust back and forth between the eight outer corner reflectors of the cube. This creates a very complex system of interlocking elements which all share their male and female electric lights with each other to give each other form. Cymatics offers empirical and tangible physical proof of Russell's cubic wave field model. It is a window into the unseen world of electric waves, in this case sound waves which are also electric, as they work together via expansion and compression to create every imaginable geometric form in the electric universe of motion. These images show how the curvatures of physical forms are created by the intersection of various sonic waveforms according to their specific frequencies. The more rapid the waveforms, the more complex the resulting structures become due to the increase in lenses created by an increase in the number of waveforms. Solid spheres can only occur where the six polyhedrons of cubes unite as one. Six square pyramids intersect with their apices pointing to the center of gravity of each cube. These square pyramids are bipyramidal halves of the octahedrons which interpenetrate neighboring cubes of the shared cubic faces. This image illustrates how the six polyhedron lens systems of the cube create and maintain gravity-centered spheres. Only four can be pictured here. These six lens systems are lenses for billions of lens systems contained within them. Every microcosmic lens in every macrocosmic lens system focuses its gravity at the same point. The supreme effort of nature is to compress her nine stratted hollow wave bubbles of light into incandescent spheres of light within which the Creator records all form of mind idea for unfolding into the light wave formed images which constitute creation. Suns are the storehouses of mind idea. Suns are the seeds of all creation. Solar systems are the seeds of suns. 
Through the planets of suns, all idea of mind is unfolded into image forms and the drama of creation made possible. That is the purpose of suns. Through the light of mind, man acquires all knowledge of idea. Through the light of the sun, man may acquire unlimited power to express his idea.